The valley flashing must provide sufficient area to carry all runoff without blowback or overflow under the edge of the roof. To complete the typical valley, you will need valley flashing, one part polyurethane sealant caulk, one eighth inch by one inch butyl tape, ice and water shield, three sixteenth rivets, and keyhole closures. Valley conditions are most prone to water infiltration. Ice and water shield is required to extend upslope 36 inches on each side of the valley. Starting at the low end, place the valley flashing and temporarily fasten at the high end to hold into place. Apply the 1 inch butyl tape to the return edges of the valley flashing. Caulk the pencil ribs on the bottom side of the zip rib panels. As the zip rib panels are set in place, bevel cut the bottom to suit the valley condition. To fasten the panels, drill through the return edge of the valley flashing and utilize a metal plate to protect the valley pan. Rivet 4 inches on center. Insert keyhole closures at each seam. Utilize 4 inch sealed lap joints for the valley flashing. See the flashing expansion joints installation video for more information. Valleys over open purlins may require a heavy gauge valley plate that will support the valley flashing, the panel clips between the purlins, and the ice and water shield.